Hello everyone, my name is Oquandia and I'm the Solutions Engineer at Electronique. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an example on how to create a scrape structured data bot using the Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to go ahead into playground mode and open up my web automation. Once I open up web browser, I'm going to pull out my open URL. I already have the website saved in my clipboard, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that here, which is the Electronic website. I'm going to ensure that my browser is underneath Edge Native, which it is here. Now I'm going to go ahead and run my next activity. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. This is going to give me the ability to open up that web page. Now that we have that website opened up, we're going to open up our next activity. In web browser, I'm going to use scrape structured data. This is going to give me the ability to pull contents from that website. I'm going to do that by hitting create new data relations file, dragging out this data element here, going into pick new element, and this is going to highlight the elements in which are selectable. So let's use this as an example. So I'm going to pull out these contents here by hitting Control X now that it's highlighted. Once it turns green, that indicates to me that that is a selectable item. I can hit Preview Data to see the inner text or to see the class and style. I'm going to be using the inner text for the purposes of this video, so I'm going to hit Save. Now that I have that information, I'm going to create the variable name. So in that, I'm going to say electronic data. So now that is going to be my variable in which I use. So now I'll go ahead and hit save and name this file. I'm going to name this file MS Edge Scrape. And I'm going to hit save. Now the information from this file will be populated automatically into the scrape structure data parameter. So I don't have to go in and pick the actual file. So now we're going to go ahead and indicate our table contents. So what this is indicating is the table and the path. Since I want to go ahead and save this as a table, and I'm saving the previous step result, which is the data from the scrape structured, I'm going to go ahead and choose the path in which I want that file to be saved and name that file. So this is going to be my edge scrape result. And I'm going to hit save there. And now we're going to go ahead and run that workflow. As you can see, it opened up a new web page. It saved those contents to a table. We can open up the console log here and we see that the bot started and finished successfully. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up that table so we can see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and open that in here. And as we can see, the information has been populated into this table from which we've taken from the Electronic website. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, happy automation from Electronique.